I can't remember if it was Akira Kurosawa, Daido Muriyama, Sushi, or all of the above that began my obsession with Japan. Either way, it took way too long to finally visit Japan, which was for Halloween 2017, and I had the time of my life. I fell deeply in love with Japan, so much so that I found myself back on a plane to Japan just two months later to bring in the new year. I had to see if this was infatuation or true love. Both trips I went alone with my cameras, but on the second trip, I had so many friends to reconnect with. So many amazing strangers that I met on my first trip that became life homies. One of which is Rika, who I only met briefly during my first trip to Japan, but kept in touch and we found each other back in Tokyo during the same time, so we shared an apartment with another stranger turned life homie, Ryu. Rika was born in Japan but grew up in Hawaii, and she was my tour guide for the day. This episode of the Japan Chapters, I'll take you along an epic day of exploring, eating, coffee, shopping, and topped off with a Japanese comedy night in Asakusa with comedian Mashita. Why? Wow, thanks. Rude. That's rude. <laughs> to any of the restaurants or spots that I'm going to show you other than the fact that I want to share my adventure with you. So here's a little spot that I met a friend for a drink the other night and we just met for a drink and we had an appetizer but I saw the food looked amazing and the staff is super cool. It's kind of like a rock theme. It's not like over the top but it's just kind of like a subtle little rock theme. All the, all the waitresses and waiters are wearing old school rock t-shirts. Food is super fresh. Uh, it's an open kitchen, so you can see what they're doing, so let's go check it out. Uh, two days ago. Yeah, I was here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You remember me? Tokyo. Area that we were at, we were in Harajuku Street, and that was the main street on Harajuku. 
Harajuku's. Basically, um, the center place for all alternative fashion in Japan. Yeah, it's whack. Yeah, and it's pretty popular. It's a very popular tourist spot. So where we're going now is not so popular with tourists, and it's a lot more chill, but it has some cool stuff to see. So. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Jingu Mei. Jingu area because even though you know like All Saints and Paul Smith and these are obviously stores that you can you can find wherever you live but it's just the architecture and the vibe here is is very Tokyo to me. There's all these little alleyways and all these little passageways. Um, super quaint. Um, it's just a, a dope little area of Tokyo to get away from the madness and all the lights and the hustle and bustle. Even though in Tokyo the the madness is always organized. It's, it's nice to, to be able to walk around and, and uh, have a little space, a little breathing room. The architecture here is, is really beautiful and inspiring. But there's also some thrift shops that you can't find anywhere else. So we're going to dip into some of those. If Rika ever comes out of the All Saints store. <laughs> yes, I did just drop some. window shopping. This one boosted the economy a little bit. <laughs> and Drop some yen. Dropped some yen. Met some cool people. That's it. Now we're going to go to Asakusa Smile. Yes. Go see some comedy. See what that's all about. In the past, but 
I just really want to say one thing. Just I want to say one thing. People just talk about Hiroshima. People forget to talk about Nagasaki. Have you ever been to Nagasaki? Yeah, me too. <laughs> I just saw a comedy show with the Japanese comedian, uh, Mash Mashidi? Mashida? Mashida. And uh, he just had a dope show. Now we're going to do a little interview, find out what's going on. Hi. This is the brother right Hello. here. This is what you want to do here? Sorry? You want to do the interview here? Yeah. Do you have a chair? So, my name is Mashida. Uh, I'm a stand up comedian in English, but I grew up in Tokyo. Uh, why I start, uh, started performing in English because in Japan we don't have a stand-up comedy culture. That's why um, I, when I watch stand-up comedy in English, I'm so impressed because controversial joke, you know, we don't have a controversial joke, sex joke, like uh, Japanese comedy seems like a more like uh, trap sticks, wordplay. Just few comedians like uh, make fun of politicians, some programs, but compared to Western comedy scene, it's very childish. I think so. So that's why I started uh, doing comedy in English. And last year I quit my job. I was a typical Japanese employee, <laughs> but I had a big pressure about comedy. So I quit my job and I went to the UK uh, to do comedy. And so this year, almost like uh, eight months ago, I came back to Japan. So I started like uh, uh, entertain uh, tourists. Uh, so now I started, I start like organizing comedy show, stand up comedy show in English. And I want to introduce Japan, a culture, history, and everything in Western comedy way. So then I started doing comedy show, uh, organized comedy show using Airbnb now. Mm. Yeah, so. Ask me. So, who's your favorite band? <laughs> I said, oh, it, uh, it is porno. <laughs> <laughs> he seems shocked. <laughs> what does it look like? I said, ah, it, uh, <laughs> there is uh, two guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they make sweet music. <laughs> uh, even my parents love them. <laughs> I don't know why, because when I was a kid, I like to make people laugh. Because I really feel good. Of course, because you know when I when we watch people crying, mm. when watch you know we watch people you know smile, laughing, it's feel good. That's the reason. Mm. Yeah. So, in from my experience, comedy is obviously makes people laugh, right? Yeah. But there's always a dark side. Yeah. Do you feel that a little bit, or actually, I feel dark side sometimes. Uh, because why? I, I remember now, because why I like comedy? Because before, when I was a kid, I have a lot of complex, you know. Um, so comedy always protects me, you know. When I make fun of myself, I'd be a star, you know. But I think most comedians have a complex, you know. Usually, you know, something. So they try to hide, they expose the complex, like relieve stress. But at the same time, it's like, a, it's very hard sometimes, yeah. you know, yeah. Um, actually, there. I think most comedians are very sensitive. Mm -hmm. You know, we have a feel. You know, that's why. So even if one audience didn't laugh, I feel very sensitive. Well, he didn't. En he don't enjoy. So I mean, like very, very sensitive. I actually am very sensitive. Yeah, I pretend to be like a very, you know, optimistic guy in right. front of my friends. Right. Some of my friends say, "Oh, you're always so you know optimistic." I jealous you, but. Few my best friend know me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, yeah, that's it means like I have a dark side. Um, right. But not so much dark, maybe compared to anybody yeah. else, you know. Yeah. It, actually, I've always been very nervous because I know I quit my job. Now I'm late 20. This year I'll be 30. Because in Japan, we have very you know, like a conservative society. Mm -hmm. I quit my job last year. Mm -hmm. And some people don't understand why, mm -hmm. you know. So, and sometimes, suddenly, I feel very nervous. Okay, yeah. I'll be 30, and I quit my job. Why I'm doing comedy? <laughs> sometimes, suddenly it happens. It's like a wave. When I was enjoy performing, I really enjoy, but suddenly something happens. My, you know, negative mode will turn on. I feel really, really nervous. So, yeah, it, it means so. It's my dark side, I think so. Yeah. yeah. So I went over and asked, what's wrong? She said, this guy. This guy offered me money 
to have sex. I can't believe. But her t-shirt said, prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> Japanese people have a stereotype, you know. Yeah. Of course, not, not more than Chinese, but if I say Japan, oh, anime, manga, porno, you know, too much work, samurai, there's a lot of stereotypes. Yeah. It's, it's good for comedians because when I joined a workshop in the UK, um, many British comedians you know, said to me, oh my god, I really want to be a Japanese. Because now you perform here, only you're Japanese. Japanese stuff is all your stuff. Yeah, so yeah. when I heard that, I realized, yeah, it's good. Now it's a big chance to do comedy all over the world because using Japanese perspective. Yeah. 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 So, um, what does your family think? Like your mother, your father, your brother, you said you had three sisters. I have three right? sisters. Yeah. yeah. So what do they think about mm, what you're doing? Because uh, when I was in college, I was crazy about comedy, mm -hmm. in English comedy. I know it takes a long time. So I really want to go abroad and study. Um, so I just, you know, uh, told my family, some parents, and actually the, my father also quit his job. He was an employee before, but he quit his job and he started his own business. Not a big business. He's just like, a, you know, uh, kind of like a, uh, have a business, his own, his own business. Hmm. And he couldn't stop, you know, because he also quit his job. Right. But he said, okay, I know, but you have to work at least three years because it's very important. Yeah. Um, maybe three years, it's okay. if you know you uh, work more than three years, okay, I, I don't say anything right. because it's your life. Yeah. Because I also quit my job and uh, it's very hard, you know. Mm. It's very hard. Just I, I say, you, are, you know, quit your job and then uh, living by yourself, it's very, very hard. Mm. So, but I, didn't, I don't say anything. Just, but three years, you have to work. Right. Then, yeah. So what did you do for the three years? No, five years. <laughs> I'm very, very Japanese because I'm so afraid because that's a, because when I started working, it's my world, yeah. you know, it's so, you know, I'm, when I'm getting old, I'm very scared, afraid yeah. when I quit my job, yeah. what I'm doing. Yeah, you know, what are you going to do? What I will do. So. And then you get into a routine too. Routine, routine. You get used to it. Yeah, because yeah. actually the company, and like have a benefit, yeah. get a salary. It's comfortable. It's more comfortable. Yeah. I don't. I really want to do, but actually at that time I don't have a. Com I don't. I didn't have confidence. If I quit my job, what should I do? I don't have much money. Uh, maybe part time job <laughs> and comedy. Maybe it's better to work, and when I have a time do comedy, yeah. and then three years, four years, five years. But finally, I decided. You know. I what happened? I, what what made you say no? Sorry. What 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 happened uh, yeah, yeah, that yeah, made yeah, you yeah. say no? I have to quit my job. Let's go. Yeah, because the uh, first three years I was so busy. I was so busy. So do do me a back up a little bit. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. No, good. Yeah, so good. I, yeah. I was so busy. Right. So, but uh, busy with what? Work. Work. Right. Yeah. Uh, you know. So work. But uh, of course, I tried to find a time to do comedy, but. Four years, I used to do my job, mm -hmm. you know, and then I was like a sales and marketing, but I just like, a, so it's first three years, almost 95%, I just like commit my job, but four years, 60%, <laughs> then I just like focus on doing comedy, mm. but it's very sad, both are like 50%, yeah. uh, I don't have enough passion to, to the work, yeah. As an employee, and but to the comedy, I don't have much time, so both are like a shit. Yeah, 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 so yeah. This is and and just I thought if I continued working as an employee because I, I didn't enjoy, you know, just working, so my life would be shit. Yeah, <laughs> so maybe if my life would be shit, I choose to be a comedian, right? <laughs> then my life would be shit, it's okay. Yeah. Because I just You're chose, yeah, 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 because I just chose to my own way, my dream, person, my dream. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. That's the reason. Yeah. Yeah. So what's your dream? What's your dream in five years? Five years? Yeah. Uh, okay. But first three years I have a plan 
because we have a 2020 Tokyo Olympic. Now yeah. many tourists come here. Two years. Two years. Yeah. Two, two years. So 2020, at that time, I, I want to make a place, you know, the comedy bar. Mm -hmm. And then tourists come to Tokyo, watch my comedy, first day, <laughs> you know, and learn about Japan and travel about Japan, you know. So I want to make a, you know, funny, like a place you know, for tourists, yeah. Yeah, in, in Tokyo. Uh, but after, I want to, you know, uh, travel all over the world. Um, and I, would, I want to, first, uh, yeah, maybe UK, I like British humor. Mm. But my f goal, five years later, my goal is like, uh, mm. I traveled all over the world, like a world tour. Yeah. And crazy Japanese, you know. Right. And make fun of like uh, each country's, of course, self depressing joke first. Mm. So make fun of like uh, people using Japanese perspective. Yeah. That's my, yeah. Cool. Yeah. I wish you all the luck in the world, man. Thank you. So, how can people find you? Now? Yeah. Uh, okay. So, now I have a Facebook, Twitter, uh, Mishida. Mishida is my name. And then if you Google it, maybe you, it's. I'll fun. put it on the video. Yeah, right yeah, now. yeah. Right now, it's going to be right YouTube. here. YouTube. It's going to be yeah, right yeah, here yeah. when you're talking. And, <laughs> and now I'm really serious about YouTube uh, yeah. video because I really want be. to introduce a uh, different way of stand up. Just introduce Japan in a funny way using kind of Western humor. I, I will study like uh, you know from now on. Yeah. So of course I have a YouTube channel now, but okay. please check it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Facebook, Twitter, and uh, Instagram. Of course everything I have. So right. please check it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you for your time, brother. Thank I you. really appreciate it, man. Thank you very much. And I wish you all the luck in the world. Yeah. Alright, this is my boy Yuiki. He's a DJ, and he just casually dropped like, yeah, I only play reggae, and I went to Jamaica to study yeah. reggae. Yeah. Props, yes. bro. Yeah. Yeah. Enough yeah. props. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah.